What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This is a tutorial video on how to activate tax to pay by Square. Uh, remember, you don't need to have Square Terminal to be able to use it. If you have a Square Terminal, you can use it. If you're using your own credit card machine, you can use it too. So let's check it out. The first thing is required. You must have a Square account. Uh, just click on Square Terminal right here. And if you don't have an account, just click on start a square account it's going to take you to this page and just click on get started and fill up your own, own information once you do that you will have a username and password once you get that just click on again on square terminal up top and click on activate tax to pay we're going to click on that then click on check eligibility and then request URL and it's gonna bring you to this page Then click on authorize and you will need to log in with the credentials that you got from Square you're gonna go ahead and log in and just click I'm not a robot traffic lights and sign in once you sign in, it's going to bring you to this page and it's going to say confirm your location if you have multiple locations. And just click on your location right here and test connection. And just like that, that's it. Now you are, uh, you'll be able to send uh, uh, a payment to anybody's phone. Let's check it out. Let's create an estimate real quick. And um, let's just. Um, add a discount for you let's say $32 all right so let's say our total is five dollars and 47 cents we're going to click on authorize authorize and then we're going to click on pay invoice and the cash card or check we need to click on more options right here and when you click on more options right now we just updated this it will give you the option to add a credit card fee so let's say i want to charge a credit card fee and so the new amount right now is 567 and the credit card fee is already added to the invoice we're going to click on text to pay square and that's how the magic happens right now what happens vip automatically will attach the invoice and we're gonna create a url for the payment so let's let's read the message here it's going to say your business name first then it's going to say hi mark please review and pay your invoice it's going to say the invoice number by clicking on the links the first link is the invoice if we click on the link we're gonna see this is the invoice right here and we can see the credit card fee right there 567 and the other link is square I'm gonna link my let me go ahead and send this uh, to my phone and uh, I'm gonna link my uh, my phone here mirror my phone and we're gonna bring my phone right here so we're showing you both ends of it so let's say the customer already got the message right there so this is what the customer gets uh, hi via your business name uh, view the invoice he's going to click to view the invoice and he can zoom in and check out the invoice and after that we're going to go back to the text and gonna click on the link to pay the invoice um, the payment options are pretty cool you get google pay and you get apple pay or he can enter his own card and pay with his own card i'm going to use the uh, apple pay this is the future of taking payments i know it's already here but you will see this uh in the next year or two excessively use your phone is your wallet that's it and then once the payment is accepted uh you, the, your customer will be redirect, redirected uh to a page it's going to say what it says 2022 vip shop management actually it will say your business name right here and it's going to say thanks for choosing your business name and you paid this amount for this invoice so going back to vip right, let's put this aside um if we look at the status say payment requested and there's payment request i cannot do anything and of course it just get paid automatically and uh, that's the beauty of that once this happened we're going to click on close invoice and then we're going to click on the we're going to send the, the the paid invoice to the customer we're going to click on new message attach invoice 
and click send and uh, let's close this and let's bring the phone back in here we got a new message we get the invoice right here we're gonna open the invoice and we're gonna see our balance due is zero zero and that's how it was paid with the card um, if you go back and click on payments right here you're gonna see it's, it's updated to the uh, the time the date what kind of card and the last four digits Anyway, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, thanks for watching. Make sure you sign up for it. I mean, there's no charge to sign up. So anytime you get an opportunity to upgrade your shop, do so. Uh, don't use it as a primary option, usually as a secondary option or even a backup option in case your card reader stop working. Thanks for watching.